Assalamualaikum, hi. Today I will explain a bit on how to develop a remote, basic remote operated vehicle using a single DC motor and a single servo motor. First of all, we have a battery here with 7.4 volt, and then the motor driver, brushless motor driver ESC, and then the DC motor, brushless motor, and servo motor. <coughs> Remote controller, of course, and the receiver. The important thing is in the receiver, we have all the pin that will communicate and control all the devices here. Yeah? We have three channel here. <coughs> the label are on the yellow line and then the followed by the pin. Okay, the first top one is the channel one, channel two, three, and then the VCC. Uh, all is five volt here. And uh, from the row, the first row is the signal followed by the positive pin and then the negative and the motor driver we have three wire to the DC motor color yellow, red and blue here and then two wire to the battery black and red and then to the signal or the receiver black red and white so mostly we don't have issue on connecting everything because all the pins are in different manner I will assemble the communication first with the receiver so the black wire is the negative we put it at channel 2 As you see, channel 1, channel 2. And then the servo motor to channel 1. It will be like this. E. And from the driver you can plug in directly to the battery and then to the this motor let's connect the blue wire with the blue cable here yellow with yellow and red red and basically that's all for the Connection. Now we will test everything. Okay, the switch to control everything in here on the driver. Yeah. Just need to switch on the switch. Okay, the beeping sound means that your know, receiver doesn't receive any signal at all because the remote are still off. I will switch on the remote and. We will see what will happen. Okay, then the signal is received. Should be no problem now. <coughs> okay, let's see. Okay, from the remote, we have three channels on the receiver. Channel 1 are basically here, the turning lever. Channel 2 are the punch lever. And channel 3 are the button here. Okay, we, at this moment we don't use channel 3 okay now we will see the how we control the servo motor okay using the rotation lever here and then we can control the DC motor if we want to change the DC motor direction just Put the switch from R to N at the TH label here, and then the direction will change. Okay, hopefully, it will help. That's all for me. Thank you.